Welcome to this series of short video tutorials for Caliso Temp's temperature calibration software. My name is Stephen Humpage and the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to load your instruments onto the interface. So we're running the software now and this is the laboratory interface part of the program. The screen's in three parts. The left hand side is what we call the device palette. Each tab contains a series of icons for instruments by the manufacturer represented on each tab. We've just seen Isotec, now we're having a quick look at ASL with their uh, blocks and precision thermometers. And we'll now have a look at the Fluke calibration tab with things like black stacks, uh, blocks, paths, uh, super decks. The way that we connect the devices is simplicity itself. We, we take the icon, pick it up and drag it on to the COM ports that you see in the center connected devices panel. That then opens the window, the small window to the right hand side, which is the device interface uh, for that particular instrument. So we'll drag another one on, an Isotec um, unit onto that COM port and there we are. So that is the devices now added to the interface. We won't start the communications yet because there's just one other thing that I'd like to show you before we do that which is because you're going to be using this interface time and time again because that they are your instruments you don't want to keep having to do that so you can save the interface file um, using the menu item there and we'll save it because it is our most co common interface as the default interface. So there we are, we've just done that. So to demonstrate that this actually works, we're going to close down the laboratory interface and reload it in a few seconds time and then load the default interface that we've just saved. So here we go again, opening the software, go to the main file menu, select load default interface and there are the series of connections that we saved. You're then prompted to open each interface individually by clicking the start buttons that you'll always find in the bottom right hand corner. That's just to test that the serial communications are working and we haven't done anything silly like unplug cables. That's the end of this first tutorial.